Penn State Brandywine is one of 19 satellite campuses throughout the state of Pennsylvania. In 1966, Delaware County provided 90 acres of land in Middleton Township and gave $1.2 million towards construction of the first building at the campus site. John D. Viro was an associate professor of journalism at Penn State University Park. In 1967, he was assigned campus director at Penn State Delaware County, now known as Penn State Brandywine. In September of 1967, the campus opened in a rented building in Chester with 11 faculty members, 236 students admitted, and a library consistent of about 500 books. In 1979, a library center was built named after John D. Viro, the first campus director of Penn State Brandywine. The athletic center opened nine years after that in 1988. Other campus facilities include a maintenance building, a tennis center, athletic fields, and parking for approximately 1,000 vehicles. Since I've been here at Penn State Brandywine, I've seen a lot of changes. Um, when I first started here, um, it was the main building, and then the Viro Library uh, was built. And with that, um, our library used to be a main building where room 105 and 106 was. So it was great to see the library grow. Um, then we got the Commons building, which um, was a student center. And uh, we had the sports teams, and then we saw the tennis courts come. Um, that was good. Um, some lady, um, Sergeant Ethel Clark Smith, donated the money for the tennis courts. And then we saw the Temesco building come, which is a technology building. And with me being in the ITS department, that was fun to see um, that building get built. Today, the Penn State Brandywine campus consists of four buildings. The main building, the Temesco building, the viral building, and the commons building. Brandywine offers 12 four-year bachelorette degrees and choices of 11 minors. Its student body is made up over 1,500 undergraduates. Penn State Brandywine has evolved tremendously since the opening in 1966. The number of students has grown along with the different academic opportunities that it offers. The campus plans are to keep expanding to benefit its students, faculty, staff, and its community overall. In 2017, Penn State Brandywine has plans to start breaking ground to build the new student housing behind the Temesco and Viral building. We're getting news that we're going to be having dorms here on the Penn State Brandywine campus. I am very excited about it. Um, being here for the 35 years, I've met a lot of students and um, a lot of them like to stay here on this campus because we're a very personable campus. Um, we're a family. And when they have to go up to the main campus, sometimes it's too large, but they want the campus environment. They live nearby, but it's far enough to where um, they would like to stay here on campus and get that campus life. So I think, you know, having dorms here is going to really change, um, you know, for the community also. We're going to have housing here where people are going to need jobs at nighttime. The restaurants are going to pick up business with our students staying here, movie theaters, companies like um, getting your car serviced, um, local um, businesses will benefit with us having these dorms and it's going to change the whole life of this campus. Um, I'm excited for it. Um, I'm going to stay here for 40 years. I want to see the dorms built and uh, so it's kind of one of my dreams. It's been talked about for years and I'm excited to see it come and I think we're going to really benefit. Some of the factors that really went into deciding that Penn State Brandywine um, should have student housing really is that our location is such that we can, we can grow. Um, and in order to grow, some of the things we need to do really are to um, get out-of-state students here, international students, as well as students in the local area who want to have the, the full campus experience that they can't get without student housing. Once the student housing is built, um, we'll have approximately 250 students who will be in the dormitories. And in addition to that, of course, the student union will be for all students, commuters, as well as those who live in the housing. I'm extremely excited and uh, very, very happy about having student housing here. And I think the entire campuses, I know faculty are, are very happy, um, students, uh, staff, all of us, um, it means a lot of work getting ready, but we're thrilled to do it and, and very much looking forward to it. 
After taking an in-depth look at Penn State Brandywine's past and present, we can safely say the future is bright and full of promise.